people deluded. Liverpool 3, Arsenal's under 23s nil. We travelled to Liverpool and they handed ourselves to them and it's a you know what it's a weird game Carl. We lost 3 nil. Obviously when you lose 3 nil, you know you didn't play well. You actually didn't play well and there isn't many positives to take, but I'm actually not vexed about the performance. I did feel the application was there, I just felt we lacked fight, we lacked desire, I felt we were resigned to losing, but it's as dumb as it sounds, Liverpool were a good side and they dominated the game in my opinion, but really it was just quality on the three goals and we only, it sounds dumb, but we only, con apart from conceding the three goals, I don't think we were good enough anyways, but I don't think it's the worst of performance and I, Obviously, I can't really sit here and say 3-0, it doesn't really reflect the game because it does. Because, like I said, Liverpool were on top. They had a bit more about them. Um, we looked resigned to defeat. I felt we were in the game for about 20 minutes in the first half, but we looked resigned to defeat. Um, and Liverpool just had that bit more about us, really. And Liverpool, and you know, it's going to be tough for a lot of their players to break into the first team. But they've got some good players. James Morris, the fullback, got an assist. Um, is it Longstaff? He was a constant thorn in our side today. Um, or in the game better yet they got some good players there at Liverpool man I'm not even going to lie I'm not going to lie to you lot of people um, I can't say his name so I've looked in my phone but the guy who scored the second goal Dal Vosanovic Dal Vos Varezanovic, he played good. I don't know his name, forgive me for mispronunciation, I mean no disrespect, but I think they signed him a couple years ago, beat Barcelona to signing him, and he's a very good technically based player who's trying to break the lines, who's trying to make things happen. I was impressed with Longstaff in particular, because I mean, his goal, the third, you know what? The third goal, I can't complain. We gave away, we, to be honest, two of the goals were our fault. We gave away set pieces, and Liverpool clearly work on them, and they exploited them, but the third goal, people, Fucking lovely free kick. Pardon my French. Lovely free kick. I had to applaud it. There was nothing I could ask anybody to do. That was probably the only thing I could take from that. But I'd say we're in the game for about 20 minutes, people, really and truly. Other than that, Liverpool began to take a foothold in the game. The way we conceded our first goal was quite disappointing, in my opinion. Um, Joel Lopez is playing in some left left wing position, really, because it looks like Medley's playing at left back. Whether that's medley just part of his education or a bit of that is, you know, trying to step up to the first team and take advantage of injuries, I don't know. Or maybe because we're playing Liverpool a good side and they normally beat teams up, we're going, we want to play medley in there, but we're going with Joel because he's a bit more defensive and whatnot. I don't think he was poor, he was alright, but yeah, he was playing left wing basically. He gives away a free kick for the first goal, they deliver it, it's a lovely set piece, he, lovely delivery, heads it in, it's as simple as that people and it's 1-0, they go ahead. Second goal, in familiar circumstances, it's more or less a, a ball delivered in. James Morris down the left-hand side, all right, delivers it in and it's converted by the Liverpool lad shortly after the first and it's 2-0 at this point. Away from the goals, I think we're, we're a bit toothless. I feel, I think we're trying, but we're, we look resigned to defeat. We look like we're potentially respecting this Liverpool side too much. Looks like we're respecting their technical quality too much. We're not really, you know, they're the ones having the shots. We're, we're getting down we're getting down the flanks and creating one, two things, but we're not really testing Liverpool. We're not really getting at their midfield. We're not really testing their defenders and pulling them apart. Balogun's having to chase sh um, shadows um, and work the channels and whatnot because he looks frustrated. We're not really giving him any service. When we are in possession, Ben Cottrell, Smith and the rest of them, we look fairly decent with it, but we just needed to up it and we just looked like we didn't really, not that we lacked application, but I just didn't see the fight in us today. Like we, I don't know if we were tired or what, it just didn't look like, it just didn't look like it, 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 was, it was there for us really and truly, to be honest with you people. It just, yeah man, we just didn't, we're not creating stuff, our midfielders can, they're getting on the ball, but I think they're going to need to do a bit more, strikers are isolated. Our fullbacks are not giving us normal stuff they normally give us. So Swanson's okay in the final third. He's not really doing that. Joel Lopez and Medley are not offering me enough on the left hand side in particular. Um, <clears throat> and we're two 0 out of this game. We need to up it really. Um, long story short, second half, Longstaff steps up over a free kick. Another foul given away, and he he puts it home. People, it's a good free kick. Like I said, it's the one goal I couldn't ask any more. Of 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 Arsenal man, but there was nothing you could do about Longstaff's goal man. He was a, it was a fantastic goal man, and clearly someone Lewis Longstaff he works on set pieces after training or whatever he's on, on set piece duty. I don't know whether it's just him working on it, the players or collective effort, but whatever they work on in set pieces to to basically score two set pieces today or from two dead ball situations was quality. Um, 
Yeah, man. Obviously, for Maguna, um, Eli El Elijah Dixon Bonner was playing, and you know he's doing his thing at Liverpool. Um, I feel Longstaff was good. I feel Jack Byrne was good. I feel all Liverpool's good. Their front men, in particular, were were nuisances, really and truly, and fawns very much fawns in our side. We just didn't play with what we normally play with people. A lot, a lot, a lot of players were were anonymous in this game, really. Obviously, it's nice to see Greenwood came off the bench. He weren't involved at eighteens level. Um, at all, but it is what it is, people. We lost, we just have to go again. I believe, I don't even know who we've got next, people. I'm not going to lie to you lot. So let me check who the under-18s have next. Under-23s, apologies, people. We're next in action on the 17th of, of February, which is a Monday. And to Meadow, Meadow, Meadow Park, we will welcome Chelsea. So that's a tough game, people. That's a very tough game. Just by looking at the head-to-head -head stats, we're fourth, they're first. They've won eight, we've won six. They've drawn eight, we've won, we've drawn seven. They haven't lost this season. We've lost three. Their average goals per game is at one hundred. Is at one hundred. Is at one point nine four. Ours is at one point eight one. Yeah, conceded. They concede one point nineteen. We concede one point six three. We've got. They've got four clean sheets. We've got one. Um, so it is what it is. Our biggest win of the season is our 3-1 victory over Blackburn Rovers away from home. Our worst defeat is losing 3-0 to Liverpool away in the game I'm speaking about, people. Liverpool, Chelsea's biggest win is, is a 3-0 victory over Liverpool at this level. So the games are coming thick and fast, people. After that, we've got Manchester City. So we've got some tough games, people. After that, we've got Spurs. So we're playing top teams now. So there's no time to feel sorry for ourselves. In fact, we're more or less playing top teams until the end of the season because, like I said, next game is Chelsea, then is City, then is Spurs at this level. Who else we got? Then is Southampton away, then is Leicester away, then on, in May we've got Wolves. And I think our last game is at Wolves, so it's, it's going to be a tough finish to the end of the season, people. And looking at the league standings, if I can. Premier League 2 table. Because we must be third or fourth now. Yeah, well, just as I said, people, we're fourth on 25 points. Derby have 27. Leicester on 29. Chelsea are on 32. Where's Everton? This is all Google. Everton are seventh. They won the league this time last year. So both the, the, the people who came first and second are not having the best of seasons of such. But in relation to my review, there isn't much more to crack on with, man. Um, it is what it is. Yeah. Thank you for watching and sticking with me. But for now, I'm going to keep it pushing, guys. DG.